Right here, we are going to start uh, your computer uh, lesson. Actually, uh, the last week, the first date uh, to do our uh, class uh, because of some uh, meeting, I think academic meeting, uh, we missed the class. Uh, therefore, uh, today is the first day uh, to discuss the subject matters, uh, your subject uh, computer here. Uh, then I am uh, straight actually uh, going to start the subject matters. Uh, that first I want to give some instruction regarding the uh, subject here. Uh, at the end, uh, at the end of your course, you will be receive a question paper uh, for this subject. Uh, this is a general subject, uh, but you will uh, receive a question paper that designed by uh, external uh, body. Uh, you want to face, you want to pass, you must pass this exam also, that otherwise you will not be complete your diploma. Therefore, you want to uh, prepare for this exam after uh, your final exam, that's the part, uh, computer is a part of your uh, syllabus. Right, uh, then therefore, uh, I want to concentrate you to the content here, you have a syllabus, according to the syllabus, we should want to complete our uh, content. Uh, the one major thing is you want, we want to uh, cover our syllabus uh, based on uh, based on uh, that particular uh, syllabus there. Uh, the other thing is uh, you want to learn this technology. Uh, you want to learn learn this technology for the teaching learning uh, practices in the classroom. Right? That's the other major thing. Right? But uh, these things are not uh, you will not check in the examination. However, you must know uh, how to use the various types of technologies, including uh, computers, uh, tech, internet, like that, the various kind of technology there. You want to uh, concentrate, uh, you want to learn how to use these uh, different types of technology within your, during your teaching learning process. That also uh, will cover in this course here. Right, uh, then you want to complete uh, some assignments also. Uh, later, I will uh, give the information, uh, more information about these assignments. Uh, however, uh, during this period, two years, you want to complete at least uh, two assignments per year. Like that, you want to uh, complete uh, four assignments uh, for this general subject here. Right. Uh, then way of delivering the lecture. Actually, you want to get some idea about how I am uh, delivering the lecture here. Uh, first thing is uh, this face uh, that actually this time online uh, face to face uh, this type this kind of lecture at uh, one per week right that's the first uh, delivery method uh, then after the lecture you will receive the recording of this lecture then later also you can check uh, you can get some idea about by looking at the uh, recording also if you are missing the lecture or again you can uh, learn what what are the things we uh, did during the during that period. Therefore, it, uh, I will deliver the recording of this lecture after the uh, session here. Then also, I am using the presentation or PDF. Uh, that also you will be uh, you will find after the lecture. Right? That's the, maybe a, a PowerPoint presentation or web preference or uh, like that a PDF note uh, something like that. Right. Then uh, also I am giving an activity sheet, uh, mostly uh, one activity sheet per week. Uh, today also you have activity sheet. I am uh, providing the link for that uh, activity sheet there. While I am explaining the thing that you want to do this activity also, right? I will give uh, the time also uh, to complete this activity. Uh, the other thing is homework. Uh, mostly it can every week. Uh, I am trying to give you a home, homework, uh, then you want to complete this one before coming to the next class. Right, that's the, the main point I want to concentrate you. Uh, then the other important thing is attendance. You must attend the lectures. Uh, then you want to maintain the attendance sheets. Uh, after the session, a uh, few minutes after the session, you want to upload your attendance sheet for my uh, personal WhatsApp or uh, in the group. Right, therefore, uh, you want to maintain your attendance sheet, uh, one per each class. 
I think uh, two classes here, CE5 and CE6, uh, they no need separate monitors for that. Uh, class monitor uh, get the responsibility uh, to do the to complete the attendance sheet. Right. Okay. These are the uh, main points I want to uh, give you here. Uh, I am now going to straight uh, start the subject matter. Uh, today, the, our lesson is introduction to computer. Uh, most of the things you uh, covered uh, already, you know. I think this is not new term, computer or technology. Uh, in the school, uh, you I think sometimes you uh, follow these subjects in the grade 10 or 11 as ICT, though some students may follow uh, in uh, some uh, external courses, uh, ICT courses there. Therefore, uh, this term is not new. Uh, you know the meaning of these things. Uh, you know some uh, software, work with some software like word processing Excel like that. Uh, these are the things again we are going to do in during this period also, right? Only the thing is you want to get to know how to use these different types of technology in your teaching learning process. And also you want to organize it, right? You want to know uh, the things come uh, relate um, technology related things. Uh, it is important, right? While you are uh, typing the lessons or uh, saving the different types of information, then you want to know the method of savings, uh, method of uh, writing using different types of software, those kinds of things. Right, therefore, I am going to start uh, the introduction to computer today. Uh, here, still uh, joining the student. Uh, when I give in the time, that remember uh, from next week, uh, try to uh, join the exact time here. That otherwise, I also forgot to join in the students here. Right, I am not uh, setting the automatically uh, automatic joining function facility here. I want to admit to all you here, right? Therefore, uh, I am not set that automatic function. Right, okay. Uh, now we can start it. Uh, I am going to uh, share the presentation first here. Uh, the same time I am uh, delivering the worksheet link also. Right, uh, go to the chat box. Right, go to the chat box. Then find the uh, link there. I now posted the link. Posted the link there. Uh, I am posting it twice. Go to the chat box, click on the link I provided here. Once you click on the link there, then you will open the activity sheet, uh, introduction to computers. Then I will give time to complete this activity sheet, right? Uh, don't try to do now. Just open the activity sheet and separate in, uh, separate, keep it in a separate tab. Right, then uh, look at the screen here. Right, then uh, our topic is introduction to computer lesson one. Uh, here the first thing, uh, today we are going to learn what is computer, uh, then some terms related to computer like data and information, hardware and software, and also trying to cover some devices especially uh, some input devices uh, attached with the uh, computer, right? That first thing is you want to understand something regarding the computer system. If you are learning the computer, then we can consider this computer as a system, computer system. If we consider as a computer system, then we can identify two separate sections, two separate sections. Then first you want to get idea about what, uh, what are that, to section in a computer system. Right. The first thing is we uh, identify computer as a system, computer system. If it is a computer system, there is a two uh, major parts in this system. First one is computer itself. I think you can see in the screen in my slide here, 
the number one is computer itself. Computer itself. You want to familiar. You want to familiar with the computer itself. There are different different uh, devices uh, attached to the computer system. Then you want to get the meaning of these things. That later uh, we'll discuss in detail what is computer itself. Then the second part is users. Users, the uh, person who work with the computer. Those are known as users. Right here, the first time concentrate on the different type of users. Right, the later we'll start the computer itself, computer part. Right, then look at the slide here. Uh, it defined user as the person who work with the computer. Person who work with the computer. Right. Uh, then if we consider the users, there are two types of users that here you want to get the meaning here. Uh, two types of users. Then what are the two types here? That's also mentioning system users and the end users. System users and the end users. These are the two main type of users with the computer. Then you want to get the uh, difference difference between this system and the end users. Then think about uh, what is system and what is uh, end users. Mm. See here, define it as system user uh, is the person who create and maintain different types of computer programs and software. Programs and software. When we work with the computer, it is the uh, two major terms we should want to understand computer programs and computer software. Actually, programs and software refers to the same thing, right? If you want to work with the computer, we need software or computer programs. Otherwise, you will not be able to work with the computer. For example, if you want to uh, create a word, uh, create a letter, or if you want to uh, create an image or notice or web page, Right? Uh, there are uh, lots of work you can do with the computer. If you want to do these things, it must need computer programs or computer software. If you want to uh, create a letter, you need the word processing. If you want to do some mathematical operation, you need Excel. Okay? If you want to uh, uh, build up a presentation, for a teaching process purpose, suppose you want you need to you need to build up a presentation. In that case, you need to use PowerPoint. Right? That Word, Excel, PowerPoint, these are called commonly as software or computer programs. Right. System user is the person who is responsible to create or maintaining this type of computer programs or software. Then look at end user. Who is the end user? End user is the user who uh, main, who use this, the software or program created by system users. Who are the end users? End users are the users who use computer programs and software that created by system users. That means all other person, including you and me, also considered as a end user, right? Uh, therefore, uh, then you want to uh, get the clear idea about the difference between system users and the end users, right? Then look at some example here. Examples for users here in this chart table, uh, left column says the username, uh, then right column, says the duty or task of each user here. Then first look at the first one, programmer, computer programmer, one of the user. Uh, it's he or she responsibility is develop computer programs or computer software, developing computer programs. Then uh, like that network administrator, a person who perform uh, all the functions in the computer network. Then you, later you will understand what is computer network. There are uh, many uh, operation you want to do with in the computer uh, network. The person who doing this operation called as network administrator. Like that uh, information system designers called system analyst. 
then uh, software engineers computer uh, application assistant uh, web developers like that there are many uh, many types of uh, users available with the computers right then can someone tell me uh, who is the end user in here in this list is there an end user here or if it is then who hmm? can someone tell me computer application assistant sir uh, yes computer application assistant yeah your answer is correct uh, is there any other end users here right uh, is there any other end users that you want to uh, discuss giving the answers for me also when i am uh, asking you to talk or asking you to discuss with me then uh, you want to unmute your mic and uh, give the answers is there any other system use uh, end users here hmm, programmer what can you say about programmer system user or end user system user system user network administrator he or she also system user here all the uh, other users except the computer application assistant considered as uh, system users system users right now uh, i think already you open the activity sheet there uh, now back to activity sheet right now try to complete the first activity here and you can complete with me uh, this one first activity uh, tell me the answers for here there are main parts in the computer main parts then what's the uh, answer for this blank here two two main yes two, two main, main parts main. yes good two main parts in a computer system they are computer itself the first one then second one users 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 the second main part of the computer right then users is the person who work with the computer there are two types of users two types good two types of users they are system and end users end users system and end users right then uh, look at the next one uh, system users are who create and maintain computer programs programs very good programs and software end users are users of computer software that created by system users system users right okay it is okay uh, all you are all of you are uh, giving the answers very well uh, like that uh, others also please involve with uh, the discussion here uh, second activity here click on true or false if it is true then you want to click on the button near the true or button near the false right then first look at the statement here first one a school teacher can be considered as a system user of a computer false yes the statement is false school teacher is not a system user because the school teachers uh, duty is uh, teaching and learning in the classroom she is not going to create computer programs or software therefore statement is false second one ict teacher 
in a school can be considered as an end user. True. Uh, one said uh, true. What about the others? True, sir. True or false? True. True. Then uh, any other answers? Others? ICT teacher. ICT teacher is not the separate person in the school. Uh, he or she also engage with uh, teaching and learning in the classroom. Right? Duty of the ICT teacher is teach technology re uh, related thing with, to the students. He or she also not going to create in computer programs or computer software. Therefore, ICT teacher in a school can be considered as an end user. Statement true. Right. Number three, students who are follow a computer program can be considered as a computer programmers. Old. Yes, uh, then what about the others? Hmm? What about the others? Statement is true or false? false. Students, yeah, uh, students who are following the computer, still they are following. They are not get any uh, job or any appointed regarding the computer programmers. And therefore, they are still following the computer program. They are using a computer software and programs that created by someone else. Therefore, the statement is false. Students are still considered as end users, not the computer programmers. Right. Next one. Person who develop computer software and program are called system administrators. True. True. Person who develop computer software and programs. Then look at the list there. Uh, try to identify uh, what is the name given for the person who giving person who develop computer software or programs. There are two names there. Computer programmer is the first one. Computer programmers' responsibilities. Uh, developing computer programs or software, also software engineer, another person who developed the computer software. Then uh, what system administrator? Ad system administrator is someone else. Normally we know in an organization or in a school, uh, many type of information systems there, information systems. Right? To maintain the student registration, they are using student registration system. To maintain the attendance, they are maintain attendance system. Okay. Uh, to maintain the uh, office workers, they are using office automation systems. Okay. The, like that, there are many types of uh, information system we can see in an organization. The person who maintaining or operating this type of information systems called as system administrator. Okay. Therefore, system administrators not duty to develop computer programs or computer software. Therefore, the statement is true or false? False. False, false. yes, yeah, statement is false. Right. Then uh, look at the next one, fifth one, learning management system is a system used by only uh, teachers and students to engage classroom activities. Learning management system. I think you know uh, the, this word, already you heard about the learning management system, in short LMS. It's a type of information system, especially uh, using the uh, educational organization to perform teaching learning activities. 
but here in this statement says learning management system can be used only by teachers and students the statement is correct Statement is true or false here? False. Statement is false because learning management system is not uh, restrict to teachers or students. Right? Uh, principal in the school also able to join the access the LMS and uh, principal should be able to uh, watch what teachers doing in the classroom or what students are doing in the classroom. Also, parents also able to access the uh, learning management system and watch what their students doing in the classroom. And therefore, uh, related workers are uh, able to join with the learning management system. Right? Related workers with that field, uh, principals, educators, parents, right? like that, uh, these persons are also able to join with the learning management system and work with them. Right. Therefore, the statement is false. Right. Uh, last statement, automated timetable creating system in the school can be considered as an end user system. Right now, tell me the statement is true or false here. Automated timetable creating system in a school can be considered as an end user system. Hmm? What's your idea regarding this statement? False. False. Uh, others read it again and uh, think statement is true or false hmm? automated timetable creating system some school may uh, having uh, a computer based system to create their timetable automatically. Whatever the yes, date, yeah, uh, relevant data, we input relevant data to the system, then it will uh, automatically create the timetable. That means a person, a school, uh, in the person in the school use automated timetable creating system to create their timetable. The system is created by someone else, but we are using that. Therefore, uh, we can, uh, the person in the school can be considered as the end users of the timetable creating system. Therefore, the statement is true. Right, okay. Uh, I think you got idea about the system users and the end users uh, here now. Right now, back to presentation again. Right now, try to identify what is computer. What is computer? Uh, before we move into what is uh, computer, exactly what is computer, uh, another two terms uh, we should want to get idea about, clear idea about that the difference between data and information, data and information. Here, uh, data can be identified as unprepared or unorganized facts. By looking at the data, you will not be able to uh, get decisions. That means uh, data will not uh, involve with the uh, decision making process. Some examples also you can get here, student names, subject marks, right? In the classroom, by looking at the name of the students, you can't say that particular student is a good student or weak student. Only by looking at the name, you can't say that. That means you can't uh, take student names for decision-making process. 
like their subject marks also by uh, looking at some marks of the students you can uh, you can't say this particular student is the best student in the class right uh, information is the opposite of data that mean organized fact uh, meaningful right uh, information are meaningful organized fact that mean you can take uh, information for the decision making process you can make decision by lo by looking at the information some examples here average marks right highest uh, marks or rank in the class right uh, these are the some information examples for information right now uh, by looking at the average marks then you can get idea about uh, how uh, the students uh skills or students knowledge of the particular subject by looking at the average mark that's the decision at their highest marks then you can get idea about uh, that particular student is uh, very good in that subject right in that way uh, information you can refer to uh, make decisions right that's the difference between data and information now look at uh, try to identify here what is a computer what is a computer right here define the computer as a electronic machine electronic machine however that particular machine should be able to do the following operations uh, there are four operations here uh, we can uh, see this operation in these three points uh, look at the three points here whatever the machine that capable of doing these three four operations that is called computer that is called computer the first thing is this computer or this machine should be electronic electronic machine the first point is collecting and saving data that particular machine should be able to collect in uh, data and after collecting the data that particular machine should be able to save collecting and save two operation together here collecting and saving the second uh, point is here after you collecting and saving that particular machine should be able to process in the data how they are going to process in this according to the user instruction according to the user instruction that's the important point here that's the point uh, make difference between other electronic machines with the computer other electron there are many many types of electronic machines in your home right then iron fridge tv like that but these electronic machines are differ from the computer how they are going to differ is uh, computer is able to process in the data according to user instructions according to user instruction right after processing the data the computer will generate a uh, information or meaningful facts then there should be a way to display the, display this information to the users that's the third point displaying information to user after processing after processing right the machine which uh, capable of performing this for operation then what are the four operation here collecting data saving processing according to the user instruction and display the machine which capable of doing these four operation called as computer called as computer right in uh, look at the diagram here right side uh, bottom right uh, in this diagram explaining three major operations one is hidden uh, first one collecting data also known as input collecting data also we can uh, consider as input after input the data processing how they are going to process in is according to user instruction uh, before processing or after processing the data should be saved the save operation is not mentioned in here but uh save operation should uh, is a one of the major operation in the computer then output 
right these are the four operations input saving process and output right now i think you get the idea about a computer uh, next we'll see another two terms here uh, before that uh, components so peripheral devices of a computer then look at the diagram here here explaining some devices attached with the computer some of the devices inside the computer some of the devices you can see it outside the computer uh, inside mean uh, here all of you can see the one uh, major device in the middle box like device here that is called what can someone tell me suggest the name for this uh, large box here name of this box is not mentioned in here can someone tell me central process unit uh, one suggested central processing unit actually uh, this is not exactly the central processing unit generally more people consider this is as a cpu or central processing unit but not that's the wrong usage hmm, what's the exact name for this system, system unit? unit system unit that's correct system unit right uh, some units you can see inside the system unit like uh, hard disk drive inside it right there are many other devices also uh, in this diagram all other devices external to the system unit right here remember these devices microphone optical device monitor speakers mouse flash drive uh, flash drive is uh, normally we are using to store move data from one location to another location it's a storage device uh, hard disk drive is the major uh, storage device in the computer then keyboard a printer like that uh, some devices you can here yeah, right remember these devices and after that uh, open your worksheet And again, open your uh, worksheet here. Right, now try to answer this activity. Here the first question. Which one of the following can be considered as information? Right, what's the Average answer? Mark. Uh, yes. Others, what about the others? Uh, agreed with that? answer yes sir. right okay average marks of students that's correct answer here uh, all the other answers are example for data name list age or email address second one which of the following is correct regarding the functions of computers What's the correct? Doing a task according to the user instruction. Uh, yes. Doing a task according to user instruction. Because all the other uh, answers contain the term only. Only collecting data. Only collecting and saving. Right? Therefore, uh, other answers are we can reject. Uh, only the suitable one is... Uh, Fourth one, doing tasks according to user instructions. Uh, right, look at the next one, activity. Uh, try to do this one uh, here. Drag and drop, drag and drop. Identify the relevant device, then select the name and drag and drop into the relevant place. For example, mouse here. Mouse at the top in the list here. Then uh, click the mouse on the label and drag it. Drag it and drop in the 
uh, drop near the mouse here. Right. In that way, try to complete the other labels also. After you complete in, uh, send the message, okay. I will give one minute to complete. Right. After completing, those who are completing, uh, give the message, okay. Right, I think uh, few students are completed here. Uh, try to complete with me now. Uh, printer, printer in this device. Uh, then my optical disc here. Microphone, uh, speakers. Flash drive, keyboard, monitor, and hard disk drive. Right. Uh, this is the uh, arrangement uh, of the devices on your diagram. Right. Try to complete uh, this one, others also. Later, you can complete it after I give in the uh, worksheet link then later you can complete it that again this one also right okay then i am going to again uh, for the presentation we should want to identify another uh, two terms that earlier we identify what is computer then some of the devices also we identify uh, later, we are dividing, we are categorized these devices secured into their usage, right? Before that, you want to get uh, another term, computer hardware and software, computer hardware and software. Can someone tell me the difference between these two uh, by looking at the uh, diagrams here? For the hardware, that's a separate diagram. For the software, another one. By looking at this diagram, can identify the difference. Hmm. Can someone tell me the difference here? Sorry. Uh, someone trying to answer in the question, but we can touch hardware. You can touch. Uh, then what else you can see? Hardware and software. In the hardware side, you can see all the uh, devices which are in ta tangible, tangible devices. That tangible mean you can touch it. Components, devices all the components which you can touch. But in the other side, software, uh, you can see the uh, items, only you can see, but uh, you can't touch it. That means intangible things, right? Then look at the hardware section here. Hardware, computer hardware, you can identify as tangible or physical components 
of a computer can be touched or seen to the users and some examples here keyboard mouse uh, hard disk are some examples computer hardware uh, may be located outside the computer and uh, the inside the computer also here the inside mean inside the system unit uh, software intangible part of the computer is software right computer programs uh, the related uh, data and information all things are you can categorize under computer software intangible part of the computer right here you want to remember the difference uh, between these two terms and the examples also right uh, then computer when discuss about the computer hardware and software it is important to uh, understand this hardware structure this uh, this structure explaining the hardware types available in your computer right hardware types available in your computer right mainly computer hardware you can divide it into two categories uh, called as external uh, devices and uh, internal devices external mean outside the computer or outside the system you need internal means inside the system unit right if you consider the external devices these external devices again you can divide it into two categories right based on data input and output that earlier we learned what is data what is uh, information and also computer operation uh, collecting uh, and display or input and display based on these external uh, devices we can divide it into two uh, parts the devices you are using to input the data or collecting the data called as input devices input devices and some examples here uh, remember these examples that later i will show some uh, images or pictures of these uh, input devices until that remember keyboard mouse touch screen uh, barcode reader are some of the examples for input devices right after you input data to the computer uh, inside the computer there's a processing operation happening according to the user instructions after processing it will generate information then think about how this information are going to be seen to the user right the devices you are using to display the information is called as in output devices the devices you are using to display the information to the users called as output devices right uh, look at some examples here uh, printer uh, this printer is the major output device if you want to get your output as a paper paper medium then you are using printer uh, speakers sound output then plotters right another paper uh, output medium right one of the major uh, output devices missing here can someone suggest that what is that one hmm? monitor yes monitor monitor is the uh, one of another uh, one of major output device right whatever the you input uh, through the keyboard immediately after you input uh, this output you can uh, see through the monitor right the monitor is missing uh, other examples are there printers speakers and plotters right that's about external devices then look at the internal part this internal mean inside system unit the parts you can find inside the system unit again divided into two categories uh, known as the first one memory computer memory right? if you consider the computer memory memory is uh, the place where you are storing your data Uh, based on according to the nature of the data you are going to store this memory 
can be divided into two parts. First one called secondary memory. Uh, the other one, primary memory. Memory, you can divide it into two categories. Secondary and primary memory. Right? Later, you will understand uh, somewhat detail uh, the difference between this secondary and primary also. Right? Uh, for now, remember, secondary memory is available for end users. Right? That earlier we learned the meaning of end users. Secondary memories are available for end users. Uh, some examples you can see here, hard disk, pen drive, DVD. Then primary memory. Primary memory is available for computers, internal uh, operations of the computers. Primary memory is available, right? Not for us. That later you will uh, get uh, more detail about primary memory. Example for primary memory, there are two types, RAM and ROM. Right, that's about uh, under internal devices, first part, memory. Second part, called as processor or CPU, that earlier uh, one student uh, told about CPU. Right? The CPU is a small chip that you can find inside the system unit processor or also known as central processing unit or CPU. And CPU contain three parts, uh, control unit, arithmetic and logic unit, and registers. Right? In that way, uh, processor consists of three parts to perform a task. Actually, processor or CPU is the most valuable place in the computer. Right? When we compare with the human being, uh, brain is the unit you can compare with the uh, processor. Right? Remember these points. Uh, this is the hardware structure uh, that you want to remember these categories, uh, each of the categories you can find through this structure here. Uh, right. Then uh, get some idea about uh, some input devices. According to this structure, we should want to first familiar with external devices. And external devices, you want to get some idea about uh, input devices. Input devices that uh, I am showing uh, somewhat uh, rapidly here. Input devices, the first one keyboard, because uh, you know these uh, things you already use. Keyboard. Keyboard is normally used for insert text numbers and special symbols. Uh, mouse, another uh, type of uh, input device, pointing device here. You can see some images. Uh, there are two buttons available. Uh, operate with the mouse, left and right buttons there. Some buttons have in the wheel to scroll up and down. Uh, using this uh, things you can use mouse uh, operate with the computer. Uh, look at this set uh, input device touchpad, touch screen and joystick. Touchpad normally used in the laptop computers instead of mouse, they are using touchpad. Uh, touch screen is another type of device. Normally, you can uh, see it uh, with your smartphone. This is the device can be considered as uh, doing both input and output operations. Therefore, touch screen is a special devices which is capable of performing both input and output operations. Joystick, I think uh, you know what is joystick, uh, most popular among the computer gamers. Uh, through the joystick, it is uh, easily you can represent movement of the human. Therefore, computer games, those who are playing computer games, they are using joystick uh, for their purpose. Uh, another set here, light pen, uh, digital camera, webcam and uh, CCTV. Uh, light pen, you can use to draw something on your screen. Uh, look at the image uh, here. Uh, you can see uh, light pen there. Uh, digital camera, uh, webcam and CCTV, all of these, uh, they are using for one purpose to capture the pictures or video. 
but usage is difference. Uh, digital camera normally you are using to capture normal videos and pictures. Webcams uh, using especially in the online classes. CCTV uh, camera normally you can use in the roads or uh, similar situations uh, to detect some uh, hap uh, things happening outside the environment right? using CCTV cameras. Uh, then another type of uh, input devices here you can see flatbed scanner, especially as a teacher it is important uh, if you want to get uh, scanned images. Uh, from a book, then uh, this type of uh, scanners you can use. Barcode reader, uh, then magnetic in character reader to uh, read checks, especially used in the bag. Uh, through MICR, it is able to uh, read check numbers. Optical character reader, if you want to uh, scan uh, a text from a book, uh, this is another device you can use optical character reader. Not only scan in this uh, device is able to edit the scan text also. That is important. Uh, this is another one OMR optical mark reader. Optical mark reader is uh, able to identify the particular symbol is available or not in the paper. And if you mark a symbol using pencil or pen, that particular mark will be identified by the optical mark reader. Therefore, it is very useful uh, to mark the MCQ type question. Examination departments, they are using this type of machine to mark uh, MCQ question papers. Uh, microphone is uh, if you want to record uh, sound or if you want to input sound, data as a sound, then uh, you can use microphone. Right, these are the uh, some of the input devices it, uh, important uh, for you. Right, uh, our time is uh, close to end now. However, I am want to complete this activity. Right, quickly try to do this one. Which one of the Following is computer hardware. Display What's the answer? Unit. Display units, correct. Second one, which combination is correct regarding computer software? Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Correct, this one. Uh, True or false statement here, intangible parts of the computer can be considered as computer hardware. Intangible parts. False. False, false. false. statement is false. Computer hardware mean tangible parts. We need uh, to install computer software to work with computers. True, sir. True. The statement is true because you must need computer programs or software if you want to do something with the computer. Uh, only the hardware is available. That means you can't uh, do anything with your computer. Therefore, you must need computer software. Flash drive is a device that used to move computer software. True, sir. Uh, true or false here? Yes, uh, flash drive. Uh, you can use move to software to one location to another location, but not the major purpose of the uh, flash drive here. Major purpose is uh, flash drive no, you are normally used to uh, move your files or uh, files created by users to move from one location to another. Right. Later you will understand, get more idea about this flash drive. Right. Do it this one also quickly. It's hardware structure, external devices and internal devices. 
internal yes correct internal devices uh, external devices input divided devices, into input, yes. device. input devices and output uh, then try to get the examples here on the input keyboard mouse touch screen what's the exact Bar one barcode reader. Bar reader yes barcode reader uh, output devices printer speaker speakers speaker. yes speaker right then under uh, internal devices uh, memory secondary memory and primary memory primary memory under secondary memory hard disk pen drive, pen drive. Pen drive. Then uh, under processor, CU control unit. But the second A major unit, ALU. ALU, right. Uh, one more activity. Last one. Here, uh, devices, input device list is, uh, you can find the left side, uh, the statements in the right side. Uh, match with the relevant one. Touch screen. Consider as both input and output yes, device. Yes, consider as both input and output device. Correct. Microphone. Record your sound. Record your sound. Others also involved with this here. OMR. Useful in MCQ marking. Useful in MCQ marking. Joystick. Device to handle human movements. Right, correct. Keyboard. Type your lesson plan. Type your lesson plan. Uh, barcode reader. Automated data input method. Automated data input method. Webcam. Useful in online classes. Useful in online class right that's the end of our activity sheet for the today after you end in this activity click finish button here once you click finish then you will get this type of box from here click check my answers check my answers once you click there then uh, you can find a mark at the top of the worksheet you will find a mark 10 out of 10. In my case, I received 10 out of 10 here. I think uh, you also got a mark there. You are marked also 10 out of 10. Hmm? Am I correct? Because this activity sheet you are doing with me. Therefore, you are one also correct. From next time, I will give uh, time to compete uh, yourself. You to complete this type of activities there, then you can get your own marks, right? Yeah. Okay, that's the end of today's lesson. Then homework, uh, I am giving the homework also. Read it here. Can uh, see all, can see this uh, document. Homework one, introduction to computer. Question they are asking, design the following types of question based on today's lesson. Four MCQ questions, three blank fields, three true or false type, one matching type. The matching type is the one uh, similar to we did last in the activity sheet and when one word search type. Right, uh, use live worksheet tool. Uh, how to use live worksheet, uh, you can refer uh, this website here, this uh, YouTube video here, right? The link is available uh, here. By clicking the link, you can get the video. Uh, then it will say uh, how to use live worksheet. Uh, you want to submit this one before next uh, Sunday. Actually, I have designed this uh, homework for the last week. That's why 14 February, uh, it's mentioned as the due date, uh, but uh, it is extended up to another one week, 21st before 21st February, right? Uh, for your class. Therefore, submit before the due date uh, for the next week, right? Uh, 
uh, this is only homework, right? I am not giving any marks or any assignment, not assignment, this one. Only homework, just for practicing. Therefore, if you like, you can complete this one. Otherwise, no problem, right? Uh, okay. You have any questions then? If you have any question, you can ask now before ending. No questions. Okay. Then uh, after a few hours uh, from now, you will find all the recordings, uh, lecture notes, slide presentation, and the homework in your groups. Before that, remember to send in your uh, attendance sheet. Right. Okay. Thank you very much for the participation. Thank you, sir. 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 Okay, welcome, welcome to you all.